So in this episode, we're gonna try something a little different, something that I really love to do, which is DIY stuff. You ready? So when we were in Melbourne for the Travel Hacks episode, we stayed at an Airbnb place which had a really, really cool lamp. And I thought, let's go and try and make it because it looks pretty simple and I think you guys could give it a shot too. It doesn't cost much and it's fun to do. Alrighty, so all you need is a basket like I have here. I got this one at Howard Storage World. It is a lot smaller than the one I saw at the Airbnb place, but I wanted to make this a desk lamp. The other thing you need is a whole bunch of light bulbs, power cord and a bulb holder. All the bulbs cost around under a dollar each so it's pretty cheap and I got all this in a really cool hardware shop in Chinatown where this guy Mr. Lee he's so helpful he's got everything there <laughs> and so lastly if you don't like the color of your basket you can spray paint it I think chrome is nice but I just want to show you something different so I've decided to get matte black spray paint to spray the basket first thing I need to do is spray paint the basket I've used a cardboard box so that the spray paint doesn't go everywhere please protect everything everything okay because this shit goes this stuff goes everywhere all right so shake it up and spray I feel like a Japanese <laughs> a Japanese in my in my lovely apron here oh it's really stinky might be best to wear a mask so you don't inhale all the fumes done just let that dry, don't touch it. Alrighty, so now that the spray paint is dry on my basket, it's time to rock and roll. Gotta get your cord, you know, thread that through, and you wanna make sure that these two wires are all sticking out. So all I gotta do is connect the cord to the light bulb holder. Thread the wire through that hole, and what this screw does, when you tighten it up, it all holds it all together. Now when I bought this light bulb holder, it didn't actually have the hole, but I wanted to create the hole so that I could put the cord in it later on, like so. Put this in here, I'm going to use a small bulb. Now before making the rest of this project, you might want to test to see if it works. So I'm going to plug it in. Okay, you ready? I'm just kidding. Of course it works. <laughs> and now all you got to do is put the rest of these light bulbs in. The reason why I got small bulbs is because I've got a small basket and I want to fill up the bottom of the basket easier. Place it however you like. There's no specific way. And there you go. What a bright idea. A cool little desktop lamp. You might have seen this one online, but I think it's really cute and it's really easy to make and I want to show you how to do so. First of all, you need a drill with a glass drill bit. You can get this in any hardware store as well. Duct tape and then some blue tack some water, an empty wine bottle. I removed the labels on the wine bottle, but if you like, you can keep it on, and some fairy lights. First thing we need to do is you need to drill a hole in the wine bottle. Please wear your safety goggles or glasses or something to protect your eyes because who knows what will happen, all right? I've rolled two pieces of blue tack like so. I used to mount the bottle so it doesn't slide everywhere, so see? not moving anywhere. I'm gonna put the hole at the bottom of the bottle because that's where the cord will be coming out. Grab some duct tape, put it in the place where I want the hole. So what the tape does, it actually helps the drill grip onto the bottle easier. Next thing, kids out there don't do this by yourself. Adult supervision please, okay? When it gets too hot and smoky, you need to cool it down with some nice water. Alrighty, it's a little bit smoky, but there you go. I've got a hole here. So now all I gotta do is I need to take off the masking tape and there is a lot of glass bits inside the bottle. So you wanna wash that out thoroughly and then you wanna dry it thoroughly. So I've come back and I've washed out all the glass bits from my bottle. So all I gotta do now is thread the fairy lights into this little hole. This is glass after all, so please be careful you don't cut yourself. Chopstick is good if you want to push all the lights down like this. I think this lamp would look good if you've got a dinner party, maybe weddings. There we go. And I want to just spread out the lights a little bit so it looks better later on. <gasps> Yay! Ta-da! It's so pretty. So there you have it, it's pretty easy to make. You can also buy it online if you want, but it's gonna cost you a lot more. This one is a lot cheaper and you can say you made it. And that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.